Hi, I'm Tom with the FCB Lounge channel and in this tutorial I will show you how to create and work with BIM materials. I'm using FreeCAD 1.1 in this tutorial. First, it's important to understand that there are two independent material systems in FreeCAD. The one is the core material system and the second one is the BIM material system. You can mix these two, but it's not recommended. And it's recommended if you work in the BIM workbench to use the BIM material system. I recorded a separate tutorial about the core material system. So if you are interested in that, you can watch the video. It's linked in the description box below. So let's get to the BIM material system demonstration where I have this simple sample files with some walls, doors and windows. And first I want to create a BIM material. To create a BIM material, I will use this tool, the BIM material. So if I have no material created in my project yet, and I click this button, the create material task opens up in the taskbar. So first here, I will choose the name. So I will change this to concrete. Here I could write a description. Here I select the color. So for concrete, I will, let's say, choose this dark one, darker gray. Then I can choose the section color. And this section color, as far as I know, this one is only used in BIM views object, which is basically a view of a section created for a tech draw workbench to place it on a page. So, I mean, I could use this for concrete. I would use black, but uh, this will be not demonstrated in this video. Then I could set up transparency, set up a code like a Omni class code, set up a URL for the material and parent I will talk about a bit later. So basically the most important is the name and the color. And if I hit OK, you can see that in the project tree a materials group was created and inside of this group is the concrete material. So this is important knowledge. The materials are part of the project. They are not placed in your in your FreeCAD installation, the BIM materials are part of the project. Now, if I want to assign the concrete material, let's say to the slab, I will select the slab object. And here in its properties, in component properties, there's the material property. And I will click here, click these three buttons. And here are my objects and one of the objects is the concrete material. So I will select it, hit OK. And you can see that the slab has been assigned the concrete material and it has changed the color accordingly. You can see the material is set here. OK, so now let's create a second material, which will be bricks. And if I now click this button, the BIM material, you can see that the manage material window shows up, which is different than when I had no material created in the in the project. And here I have list of the materials in the project. And I have this option to create a new material. So I will click new material. And this again opens up this uh, uh, material creation taskbar. I will show you what this copy existing mean. I can Click, click here and it shows all the materials in my project and I can copy existing. So I will keep, uh, copy concrete. So all of these, uh, all of the setup will be set up of the concrete and I can change it. So you can start with a different, a different basis. So I will type this ceramic brick. And of course this should be uh, red and the section color, let's say, let's make it orange. And I will hit OK. And you can see a new material is created here. You can see also properties of the material. 
up down here if I click on it and if I want to assign it to an object I can also select the object click this material button and select the material and hit OK and the material is applied to the selected object and I can see it here that it's the brick material is applied now if you want to edit existing materials let's say I wanted to change the color of this ceramic brick material I can select it and change the properties here or I can double click the material or right click and select edit and this opens up the task panel which we already know and I can change the name ceramic okay so I can fix it like this hit OK and uh, changes are applied okay let's open the material dialog because we have some uh, other options here I can search material if I have a lot of them I can type in con create uh, con and it will show all of all of those that uh, contain the con which is nice I can match duplicates which would run through all of the materials and if I had concrete and concrete 001 and concrete 002 it would match them into just one concrete material and then I can delete unused I will show you if I create a new material I will just create quickly this one and now uh, this one is not yet used in this project so I can click delete unused and it will run through all of the materials and delete those that are not used at all now if I wanted to delete let's say this concrete material I could right click it and delete and also I may delete it from the from the project tree from here so there are multiple options how to manage materials now let me show you if I create a new material uh, we have previously used this copy existing and we have got also some presets here this one copies the BIM materials and this one has presets of the materials which come from the core material system so you can see there's quite extensive uh, materials here if I select the steel it uh, it's not linked to this material now it just inserted all of these uh, all of these uh, options and you can see it also showed here the parent material the metal now this steel material has some properties and I can other than the simple color or section color and I can access them here and this opens up the material editor and here you can see all of the properties of the steel material which you can also add properties or delete them uh, I'm not sure how much this is implemented into the BIM material I did not test that so uh, there is but there is these uh, other options which you can also fill uh, fill in so let's hit OK so these are additional properties okay I will cancel this out and now let me also delete this material okay so this is all you need to know about the basic management and creation of simple BIM materials but we have one more option and those are multi-materials which are very useful multi-materials have two use cases the first one is to create layered walls meaning that in one material you can have several layers of wall or it's also applicable to panels and the second use case is you can use multi-materials on doors and windows and then different parts of doors will have different uh, materials applied so the frame could have different material than the leaf so at first I will show you the layered wall use case so I will create a new multi-material 
And this opens up again task panel with multi-material definition and I will name it wall material and here we define the layers here I've got some buttons to work with layers so I can add a new layer and add a second layer so here I set the material for the layer so what this one will be concrete and if I double click here I will select the ceramic brick so I will have the I will have the concrete core and the brick veneer uh, for this name I could select the name but this is uh, tailored for the for the doors and windows so it's not important here but what's in, what is important is setting the thickness. So I can set the thickness of let's say 150 for the concrete and uh, let's say 90 it's millimeters for the ceramic brick. So this will be this will be millimeters. So this is how I define the wall material and I will hit OK. And you can see here that the wall multi-material was created and I will want to assign it to this exterior wall. So instead of ceramic brick, I would change it to wall material and hit OK. And now nothing changes, but if I recompute the project, you can see that the wall has changed and it has got two layers. This inner one is the concrete and this outer one is the ceramic brick. And now if you use a multi-material on a wall, it also assigns a thickness to the wall object. So previously the wall had width of 350, but now the width is not decided from this property but from the property of the wall material. So if I selected my measure tool and I would measure the distance from this edge to this edge, you can see that it's 240, which is 150 of the concrete and 90 of the brick veneer. So this is how the multi-material uh, layered material for walls work and it, it could work the same way for panels objects. Now if we go to the edit mode of the multi-material you can see that I have got some few options. If I edit too many layers I can delete this one by selecting it and, hold, and hitting delete. I could invert those layers or I could move one layer up or down. So if I moved the ceramic brick layer up and hit OK, you would see that the order of the of the layers would change. So this is this is not what I want. So I will invert those because the previous previous position was the correct one. So this is the multi material used for a layered wall. Now let's take a look at the second use case and use the multi-material on doors or windows. And for that I will create three new materials. So I will create a new one and I will name it metal for the metal frame and I will give it some, uh, you know, a bit strange color, so a blue color so it will be e easily visible then another material will be the wood for the leaf and I will use some dark brown color and then the third material will be uh, glass and it will be it will have green tint so again it will be easily visible I will select the green one and the glass will be transparent so I will set the transparency to 80. So I have got my three materials ready. Now I will create a new multi-material. So new multi-material and I will name it the door material 
and I will add three layers. So I will add one, two, three. And the materials will be uh, the metal for the frame, wood for the leaf, and glass green for the glass. I don't have to add thickness here, but what I have to add is which uh, material will be applied to which uh, which part of the of the door. So the metal will be this will be frame. This will be the solid panel and this will be the glass panel you have an, also an option to assign a different material to louver and this is good enough setting for our door material so you can see that the door material is created and if i wanted to assign it to this door i will select the door open the dialog and select the door material hit ok and you can see that the glass pane is the green glass material, the frame is the metal, the blue one, and also this uh, part of the leaf is also metal. I think this should be, sh the wood material should be used this for the, for the leaf, but it works like this. Now if I will assign and if I want to assign to more objects, I will select all of these doors, open the dialog and assign the door material to all of these. And you can see that here the leaf, uh, leaf is uh, used with the wood material and the frame is the metal material. So this is how you use and assign multi-materials for doors and windows. And again, what's important to know is that these materials are part of the whole project. So if I save this file and send it to a colleague, he or she will have these BIM materials available. So this is it about the BIM material system. We have learned how to create materials, how to manage them, how to assign them to objects how to edit them and how to work with multi-materials. If you like tutorials like this one, consider supporting the FCB Lounge channel by donating through the Ko-Fi page. The link is in the description box below. I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next one.